This is it, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to part five of the five-part mini-series for the new Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Metal Mutants 5-Pack, a part of the Dimension X subline. The pack consists of the four heroes in the half-shell, which I have already gone ahead and reviewed all week, plus one Fugitoid action figure, and all these figures are decked out in vac metalized chrome, making them an exclusive to Target stores as far as I know. Don't judge me on this just yet. If you can find them anywhere else, by all means, let me know, okay? Let me be corrected. I I've got no problem with admitting defeat, so yeah. More power to you. But, anyway, that's all I know. Let's go ahead and bring in the Fugitoid. So, it's time for a dramatic entrance. Da, 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 what else can I say? That's all I know so far about him in this series. I know a lot about him in the previous TMNT series, which was the 2003 cartoon. Professor Honeycutt pretty much was a human who got struck by lightning one day after helping his uh, robot, which was the Fugitoid, what would be his new body, through um, some scrap metal he got stuck in, and in the process of being struck by lightning, it destroyed his body, but also in that process, his mind was transferred into the uh, Fugitoid body via his uh, helmet he had on, some kind of mind control helmet, if I recall, but that explains the Fugitoid and how he came to be in that cartoon. I'm sure it's going to be a lot different in this cartoon, but then again, they could use the same formula for all I know. We just have to wait and see. I'm sure the story will be explained on how Professor Honeycutt became the Fugitoid. Or maybe, just maybe, he actually was a robot from the very beginning. Huh? We just have to wait and see. But anyway, this is him in his action figure form. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and be honest with you guys. This is not 100% accurate from what the figure was received as. I actually modified his head, pretty much just the eyes. So, I painted his uh, goggles, as I'm going to call them, uh, silver, which makes it more cartoon accurate. And I gave him some actual eyes, rather than the winking eyes he actually had um, on the figure. So, that's it. Other than that, it's the same figure, nothing else was changed. But, I gotta say, I did a pretty good job. And I will be honest, it is a little sloppy, but I wanted to make it sloppy because, you know, there's a lot of toy companies out there that really don't do a pretty good job at painting their figures, and Playmates Toys happens to be one of those figure companies, so it kind of blends in in a way, so imperfections are pretty much their specialty, especially the articulation department. You're welcome. So... Outside of this, the Fugitoid is pretty much a brick. He's like the villains of the line. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. It's actually a little bit more of an improvement because if I recall the original Fugitoid figure back in 1990, was it? Something like that? Didn't really have much articulation. Maybe uh, swivel shoulders and uh, swivel feet and that maybe a head turn and that's it. This one, on the other hand, has got... A swivel head. It doesn't go all the way around. I mean, it could, but I'm not going to force it because it feels pretty tight on this figure. And as many people know, vac metalized chrome plastic has a tendency to break over time if not careful. Uh, anyway, back to the articulation. He's got a standard universal ball jointed shoulder, which is nice. Something the original Future Toy figure didn't have. He's also got a swivel wrist. On both sides, by the way. Nice. I really like that. And last but not least for the articulation department. Well, okay. That wouldn't be right. Let me explain. Let's just go ahead and get to the universal leg joint. As you can see. Any way you so choose. This would be the last point of articulation. So there you go. I corrected myself before somebody mentioned it down below. He's got swivels to his legs. Okay. Done. So that's it. 
that's really it for his articulation and that's pretty much it for the standpoints of the fugitoid figure uh, a pro about this figure that I really do like is that he is pretty much accurate maybe not color wise because of the vac metalized chrome but when it comes to scale I think they got this figure as right as they could get it because the figure compared to the other Ninja Turtle figures in the show is actually a big guy. Um, Fugitoid is actually taller than the turtles in the cartoon, so this actually makes sense. So I'm happy about that. And that's really it for the points. I mean, I've got to say, there is one other thing outside of articulation that really could have used improvement. And they really followed that villain's formula, the way that they make their action figures of the villains straight down. I mean, everything about it is pretty much the same. You have limited articulation, and you got that crappy pre-posed feet. As you can see, this foot here, his left one, is completely flat on the ground. This one, on the other hand, his right foot is actually got a bend. So yeah, he's not going to be perfectly flush on the ground. That's unfortunate, and it causes some standing issues. Make me a liar as usual, toys. Make me a liar. But that being said, he's not looking 100% straight at the camera. He's actually looking down. And it's all because of the way that he's got to have one leg back, one leg forward. And it doesn't help to mention that also, yes, because of the pre-pose of his actual legs, he's bent in a certain way that he can only really stand this way. So he's always going to be bent. He's always going to be looking down. And that's a bit of a bummer. But other than that, I really do like this figure as much as I like the four Ninja Turtle figures in this wave. This wave has really surprised me. It's had some misses, but that being said, these figures, this five pack totally makes up for that lack of great reviews this month on this channel. The reviewing station has really bounced back when it comes to the Ninja Turtles products because I really like this five pack. Now, it's a bit of a shame that I had to cheat on the Fugitoid and modify his head just to make him look better, but I really did not like the way that Playmates Toys painted his eyes and the fact that they neglected to paint his goggles. But that little touch makes this figure a whole lot better. I think I did a pretty good job on it. And overall, this is a great set. It really is. So I'm going to bring in the other figures so I can show you the whole entire five pack, which is a great buy. Expensive, I will admit, very, very expensive, but overall, it's worth the pickup. If you ain't got these figures, if you ain't got the Fugitoid, this is your perfect opportunity to get all five characters of this new wave in one grab for $60 to $70. That is not a bad deal. That is fantastic. I mean, I've seen five packs of figures go up to 100 bucks. This is something that is worth picking up. You will not regret your decision. These figures are freaking A awesome. They are just so cool. I'm glad to have this set. More importantly, the package on these figures is actually collectible friendly. So you can put them back in and display them that way on your shelves. Or you can take them out of the package and pose them as you will on your shelves. So it's your choice, your preference, whatever you enjoy. Me, I'm putting them back in the box because this is the way I'd like to keep the vac metalized chrome in pristine condition by not messing with these figures at all. If I'm going to mess with any TMNT figures of this wave, it's going to be the single carded figures, but I have no intentions on getting them because why get them when I've got these gorgeous things right here? That being said, that's the end of this review series. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'll be moving back on to other things like Star Wars and Black Series. I've got a big giant TIE fighter to review coming shortly. But um, before I go, I'm going to bring in two more figures just to show you what I've reviewed so far this month out of this TMNT series, which is Lord Dreg, the Triceraton General, Mozar, and the Four Turtles, and the Fugitoid. There you go. So, thanks very much for watching this. If you have any questions or comments, you know what to do. Just leave them down below. And this is Sonic Ranger signing out. Thanks for watching, and until the next video review, I'll see you whenever you see me.